guys, Jill here, and we are on day 24 of Marion Smith's 31 day challenge. And this is the last of my swap projects for your paper pantry. And this is the flower swap. This is probably my favorite because you make sets of four flowers and then you get back a bunch of other flowers and it really gives you a lot of good ideas. So, let's see where to start. Okay, we'll start up here. You guys have seen a version, you know, parts of this one when they weren't finished. This is a vellum flower. It's modeled after the Tim Holtz tissue tape flower and I learned this from Robin who is in Joy Stamping and it's I-N-J-O-Y S-T-A-M-P-I-N-G excuse me <coughs> here at YouTube this is one of my molded flowers from the UD which is the ultra thick embossing enamel covered with some alcohol ink and this was sprayed with one, my tea dye ink this flower is from the Tim Holtz tattered floral dye and kind of hard to see but this bottom one is felt and I cut it out with the largest size and then I ran it through one of my cuddle bug plates I think it's Moroccan screen and then put a little bit of vintage photo ink over top of it then I cut that same shape with a piece of lace and I use that oh here it is lace that you get at Joann's and it was a dollar ninety nine for a spool two yards which was more than enough and then after I used my coupon on it it was a dollar so I uh, got a lot of use out of that and then I colored those with my fiber scraps easy walnut ink and this was the tea dye color and this was the maroon I can't find that company anymore I got these at CHA but Tim Holtz is coming out with a very similar product. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on that one. And then I used the second to smallest size here and the lace again. So this is the, the tea dye, this is the lace. Then I used my tea dye spray on one of my I Am Roses roses. <laughs> and the felt was that four for a dollar white felt that was at Joann's and I actually tea dyed it. So it took a lot of that nice color. So then down here, this is old music notes and I tea dyed this also and it didn't take as much of the color and it got more yellowy so that's why I went with the yellow rhinestone. So it's fun to see, I just dipped the felt in and pulled it back out. The same exact tea. I left this in it for hours. These I cut with a circle and then cut out the shape using a technique from Selections by ER here on YouTube. And it's pretty much just twisting the petals. But you cut out the petals. She has a really cool way to do it. You could also use the Tim Holtz die very easily. And I just attached a rhinestone to the center. And then these are my grunge paper roses. And I have a video on these. And these are addictive to make. And I just sprayed mine with some Perfect Pearls. I used my new dollar stamp here. The background is a dollar book from Michaels. I put an eyelid up here and I crackled it. I used two different colors of brown that I thought were in the tea dye family with the darker more tea colored one on the bottom. Then on the back I just stamped it and put my information. And I used the darker brown on the back. So that's what the underside looks like. So actually, you know, I can show you really quickly. Again, this selections by ER, but here is the circle that I cut out, I used the bottom of a jar of curry that I got in the Indian section at Walmart. 
and just cut it out. You can use your nest abilities, but it just wasn't worth that extra effort. I did this in front of the TV. You fold it in quarters, unfold one of them, find your center, and then she just folds that over. And be careful if you are using old music like I did. Then I just took a long blade pair of scissors, cut into the side. So see how that pulls that little piece out? Do the same here. And again, she has a lot more on this technique on her channel. I'm just showing you quickly. I thought it was so cool the way she does her flowers. And then that gives you a six petal flower. And I kind of rippled the edges. So some of them took, some of them didn't. So you can fiddle with it if you want. And then she got a lot more detailed, but I wanted to keep mine tea dye. So I just edge them with a little bit of walnut ink. And then take a nice fine pair of tweezers. And just twist them. Pull it out. And this flower is three layers. So, really fun technique. And again, it's another one of those that I could really see becoming addictive. So see how that's coming together? And then this one's just fluffed up a little bit. And in transport, I'm sure it'll deflate some. So the ladies that receive these can, of course, reinflate them. <laughs> so there you have it. Day 24. And I am officially caught up again after this weekend. I'm sorry about that. We had a crazy weekend. And on top of that, I thought I uploaded two videos that did not upload. And my email's down, so I was never notified. <laughs> or I didn't know until tonight when I checked my email. So, I will see you guys tomorrow for day 25. We're almost done with this, and I must say, I, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break after this, <laughs> and, um, you know, not, not film videos for a few days, and just get caught up on some things. So thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.